Next up, with mompreneur Shelly Brander, owner of Loops, one of our country's premier yarn stores. I just had to jump in and just work really, really hard to learn it and figure it out. Right. So, but you can. I mean, you can make it happen. Yeah. You know? Was it hard? Because at that point, your children were pretty little, right? Yes. They were tiny. Yeah. I had three under five when Loops started. Knitting isn't just for granny. It's a hip trend that's growing through all generations. The soft yarns, vibrant colors, and warm vibe of the shop just made me want to get some needles and take a stab at it. I feel very accomplished and productive, and it's, it's as challenging as you want it to be. I mean, you can start to do something very simple, or you can do something very complex. Well, I actually started um, crocheting because my grandma had always crocheted. And she had always given afghans to people when they had special events in her life, and she's gone now, so I've taken over the tradition, and I just had a new nephew recently, and he got his afghan whenever oh, he was Tom there. Hamilton, yeah. and you're a physician, and you're also a knitter. Yes. How did you get into knitting? Well, it's something that I crocheted as a very young kid. My mom taught me that. The guys are fixers and we're very task oriented, so um, I obviously work with my hands. I'm a surgeon, so the, the technique of doing something and very task oriented and goal oriented, is it just fits right in with knitting. It's just so great to actually live with your passion. You yeah. know, I like to do it every day, and the thing that I just love to do, you know, I'm spreading that love to everybody else. And one of my boys had a knit when he was like in fourth grade, and he got some black from his friends for it. But, um, <laughs> they will not take away his man from it. It's so cool to have a knit along and have all, you know, across the board, we've got little boys and, and grandmas and young married moms, and it's just like a great melting pot. It's a thing that brings everyone together. The, the one thing you don't want to do is give a man a pair of handmade socks because that's all they're going to want. They're going to be asking yeah. for them. <laughs> and then you're going to be making them forever. That's all they want forever, to wear. Yeah. That's all they want.